everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Potsy Fatter, and today I have another Tuffle Tough scrapbook process video for you today. I'm using this background paper before I forgot forget this is <clears throat> sorry, this is from Nature Spirit Scrap Diaries, and I am using those um blah, what are they like flowers, a cut file from it's from Paige Evans. And it's a layering cut file. I lost some of I lost some of those for a while, so anyways, um, so I cut those from four different cardstocks, one pink, two shades of purple, or actually it's one pink, one magenta, one purple, and one red, and um, I am making some layered flowers today, um, because this is another installment of my Bash Girl Stash series, and today I'm bashing into my breads because oh my god I have look at that this is crazy I have so many breads and I thought this was a fun way to use some of them up and so I made off camera I assembled all of these um, all of these flowers and then I just go through and look for some breads that kind of fit and I just have I have this pokey tool it's actually like a leather poking tool but I use this not for leather at all and I just uh, go poke through and uh, I tear my bread or I just poke my bread through I guess and yeah I got rid of quite a few breads but I think I need to kind of de-stash those even more because ain't nobody need that many breads <laughs> but anyways um I'm scrapping those two pictures of me that I took I don't know why I'm pretty sure there was a reason at that moment <laughs> I don't remember at this point let me think no I don't know and I, I just love the way that it's like a silly photo and not a you know serious kind of thing but anyways so I'm just using another piece of that scrap berries collection um I really went through my stash and I found this nature spirit pack and I really like it and so that's why I used a bit um here and I'm matting it again on that shiny paper, just like I did my last picture, or my last layout, and my last picture, for that matter. And, um, so yeah, this is basically the design. I'm gonna go for a diagonal, and on the top there are gonna be four flowers, and on the bottom there are gonna be three. And, um, first I'm gonna do some mixed media on my background. I'm gonna use some clear gesso and just to prep my page. Um, today I'm actually gonna use a brush, which I haven't done in quite a while, but you know, I am doing it now. So there's that, just using my brush to adhere some clear gesso all over my page. And at first I just, I thought I'd just do the diagonal, but then I just went over the whole page and um, I let this dry and off camera I got out all of my pink red and purple crayons I'm not gonna use the distress crayons so I, I mostly use my gelatos and I just as you can see scribble them on here and go over it with some water <clears throat> and then I just go back in and just make it oh god <laughs> just make it work for me how I want this to be and just go in with the pink and then the purple and the red and the pink again and that just goes on for quite some time and yeah that's there's basically no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing here I'm just doing this and this on the other side I just went crazy like I just scribbled all over this thing with every crayon that I have and just do this and then I take my brush and I mix it up and I scribble some more and I tilt the paper so I can have an even more messy look by, you know, doing more of the, of the, um, what is this, this the mixing, sorry, that was mushy in the back. And I did feel like there was some red missing, so I went back in with the red. And 
some more purple. There's no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing. It's just because like 99% of this gets covered up anyways. Because, you know, it's mixed media and it's a background. And then I go back uh, or go in with um, my paper towel and sop it almost all up. So then I went crazy with this one pink crayon that's actually from Flying Tiger. And I just go over it with some water. And I think, oh yeah, now I just take my finger and bring in some of the purple on some places. Just very lightly damming it with my finger and because my finger is wet, um, it, it spreads quite nicely. So, and that is, I think, my mixed media background done. Not quite sure, yes. So this is it all dried up. And now you can see why I said it doesn't really matter anyways, because it gets covered up anyways. But that's okay, that's just the gist of how mixed media works. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so I'm just using some wet glue because um, this is mixed media background, so <laughs> it's not going to stick if I use tape or something. And I decided not to pop up the, the photos because... Um, the flowers are super super dimensional and I didn't want too much bulk on my layout and I just use a tiny dab of glue on the back of my flower to adhere it down and I'm doing the same thing on top of my um, photos just adhering down those flowers and I quickly realized that I have very little space up there for four flowers. And I didn't want to keep one of the flowers because I just knew that I wouldn't use it. So, <clears throat> sorry. So I just, you know, adhere it as well. And I just let some of the flowers overhang. And then I was like, I have this, this is the Stay Magical collection, I think, from... Um, dear Lizzie, and I haven't even cut it open, so I just used this good times ahead to be a, like a, a little, you know, positive, blah blah kind of layout, and I used two stars and one asterisk, asterisk, um, around my title, and this is the Wild Child, the Girl collection from Pink Paisley, and I just <clears throat> go through it, sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, I go through it and I pick out everything that is kind of pink, purple, or red, and I just adhere it, like all of the small stickers, that is, and I just, well, the cool cat is kind of quite big, but, you know, and I just nestle them in between the different flowers and petals and stuff, and this, oh my god, is this the, is this main squeeze? I think this must be main squeeze. Um, the main squeeze collection by Crate Paper, which was last year's Valentine's collection. Oh my god, I feel this is quite recent, but it's actually not. <laughs> but anyways, um, you can see me fuff around with those paper clips quite a bit. Um, spoiler, they do not make it. Um, I cut a part, or like not a part, I cut a piece away from the right side of the paper and used my edge distressor to kind of distress it and then I put down a piece of that shiny paper that I had left over to give it a bit of interest and whatnot. So there is that and I think yes my tape was empty so I had to get a new one uh, or a new roll and I also did this on the right side so there is kind of another diagonal going on or even like a, a like a, a third pop of that um, shiny paper thingy or of the color um, which I quite like so again those paper clips do not make it I'm just fluffing around a bit with them because I don't know I kind of like them although they're super super bulky and I, I almost left it down there but I feel like it's too much <laughs> because these are so gigantic and like see I even leave it for a bit and then I'm like yeah no 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 no, no. tried it again but I also didn't want to cover up too much of the cool and then I decided nope 
I'm gonna take those off. But I think, am I done? Not quite sure. Just adding some glue here, there, and everywhere. But I think I'm done. Yes. So that was a bit of a stash, bash, and um, um, bash your stash with the breads kind of situation here. And I really love how it turned out. It's kind of different to my usual style, I'd say. I don't know, maybe it's not, but I feel like it is. Um, but maybe that's because of the breads. I don't know. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up thumbs up if you liked it consider subscribing if you haven't already and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye